Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Pastoral Update for the week of August 25th, 2020. I'm excited to be able to come to you. When, first of all, I'm wearing my Chester Cyclone shirt. Go Cyclones! We're hoping that we get to play some football this fall. I know you do as well, and uh, we're hoping that the season's supposed to start on September 25th, and uh, we hope that it will at 7.30 at Cyclone Stadium. Also, I uh, just want to say all of our kids are back in school now in some way, shape, or form or the other, and so just continue to pray. I think uh, most of us parents are breathing collective sighs of relief. Uh, we're back in school in some way, shape, or form, either online or whether it be uh, on some kind of hybrid schedule or full on in-person courses uh, with a full schedule. Uh, a lot of options for parents. I think that's awesome. I, I think that's so good. We've got plenty of options for people to take, and I think that's a benefit for people to make their own choices. And so, uh, but what a great thing it is to so pray for the administrators and uh, the teachers and the uh, faculty of the schools, for the parents, for the students. Just really excited about everybody being back, but also um, thankful for all those people who made it possible for everyone to get back in school. Also, just want to uh, give you a, just encouragement to continue to pray for our world. Uh, all the unrest that's taking place, especially in our country, but a lot of that's traveling throughout the world. We want a just society for sure. Uh, we also want a safe society. And so we're praying for all of that stuff that's taking place around us and uh, sure to be more of that to come uh, in the aftermath of another incident in Wisconsin recently. And then, uh, of course, as we gear up for the upcoming election and continue with this COVID thing. And uh, so I just want to encourage you guys, continue praying for our world, continue being lights in the midst of darkness, being beacons in the midst of darkness, and uh, being agents of peace, peacemakers, uh, which is what God calls us to be. Also, I uh, want to uh, encourage you to continue to reach out with, to one another. Uh, give each other phone calls, shoot text messages, Facebook messages, uh, drop each other letters in the mail. Uh, even if you can start to get together, some do some of that stuff just to stay connected to each other. Always helpful. And always take the opportunity to let people know that uh, there's a hope in the midst of this, uh, even in the unrest and in the build up to the presidential election, that we as Christians have a hope. And that hope runs deep in the truths of the scripture. And our hope is in the Lord. Uh, we don't hope in princes. We don't hope in the things that are happening in our world around us. We hope in the one who is, the one who was, and the one who will forever be. Which also reminds me, in just a word again, I love reading through the Gospels. I've been reading through the Gospels in my personal devotion time. And uh, one of the things that just strikes me is the ordinary way in which Jesus lives and works and moves and uh, spends time with his disciples in the ordinary events of life. We spend a lot of time focusing on politics and on, uh, on the, the pandemic and on uh, the upcoming election and uh, injustices that we may see around us or may not see around us and all this different conversation. We spend a lot of time on really, really big and uh, natural disaster questions, really big issues. But um, we need to focus in on the ordinary things because God often works most clearly in our lives in the ordinary events because people are still getting married. People are still uh, having ba babies baptized. People are still going through their daily lives, still paying their bills, going to work every day, uh, spending time with friends and, and enjoying each other's families. Uh, students going back to school, just that everyday aspect of life. And God's at work, and so we're thankful for that. And He's at work in the life of our church. Uh, the other just thing I want to encourage you, with a lot of voices. I wrote an article in the newspaper for this week called uh, On Discernment. And so I want to encourage you, uh, tomorrow's edition of the Chester News and Reporter, you can get it at onlinechester.com uh, with a digital subscription or you can get a subscription in your mailbox, uh, print subscription. But I want to encourage you, check out my article in the newspaper, On Discernment. There's a lot of voices around us. And so there are three tests that John gives us in First John to help us with that. And then finally, as you make your plans, just a, a warning to you, as you make your plans to begin to return to church, which many of you are already doing and numbers of you will continue to do. And I encourage you to, to, to begin thinking that way. We, we're doing the best we can to keep it as safe as possible. People are wearing masks, so it's a great opportunity for us to gather to worship God. Don't let this, and I'm putting the picture up there now, don't let this be you. You liked that, didn't you? You guys have a great day and uh, be encouraged in the grace of God. I'll catch up with you later. Take care. Bye.